Cristiano Ronaldo's reign at Manchester United ended in a very uncharismatic way as the club sacked him for an interview he did with Piers Morgan. He went on record to criticize the manager, the club owners, and his teammates, leading United to terminate his contract. Now without a team, Ronaldo has been training at Real Madrid's facilities. He has been strongly linked to Saudi Arabian giants Al Nasr, who have offered him a bizarre 200 million euro contract. While his next club is undecided, Thomas Gonzalez M reports that Ronaldo would love to return to Madrid. However, Los Blancos have ruled out his signing on two counts. One, they believe that signing Ronaldo would serve as an obstacle for young guns in the squad like Rodrigo and Valverde. The former, especially, serves as a backup across the front three, and has been doing an excellent job at it. Valverde, meanwhile, is the starting right-winger for the club. And while his position does not match that of CR7s, his game time would definitely reduce should the Portuguese return to the Spanish capital. Secondly, Madrid's management are of the opinion that Ronaldo will not accept a backup role quite yet. While his decline has been clear, the 37-year-old is still looking for an important role in his next team, presumably as a starter. Given Karim Benzema's injuries this season, Ronaldo could have, in theory, served as his backup, but that seems rather implausible. Further, Madrid have managed to balance their team on and off paper quite well. Ronaldo's salary, distasteful attitude in the dressing room, and his antics off the pitch would only cause chaos within the team. Coming off an incredible Champions League and La Liga run last season, Madrid face stiffer competition this season to retain their titles. They are sitting second in La Liga, two points off Barcelona, and will face Liverpool in the Champions League round of 16. Speaking in his final pre-match press conference of the 2022 World Cup, Didier Deschamps was again asked about any potential involvement for Karim Benzema in the final, either as a player or attending the match in the stands. Deschamps, who was frustrated to be asked about the 2022 Ballon d'Or winner in his post-match presser following the 2-0 semi-final win over Morocco, gave a short answer. Can you spread the word among the foreign journalists? If I don't answer, you'll say I'm pissed. I have players who have been injured before the tournament started. Karim is one of them. The last to be injured was Lucas Hernandez. Since then, I have had 24 players to manage. Asking the question in relation to these, injured, players, it's awkward to say the least, if not a little more than that. The squad is here. I don't concern myself with invitations to players, former players or injured players. I don't know who will be there. We had a squad at the start and who, from what happened, we lost three, with Nkunku at the beginning. They were part of the beginning of the adventure. They will be 24 tomorrow. When asked about Benzema after the Morocco game, Deschamps' answer was even shorter, with a big sigh and then made it clear that he preferred not to answer that question. Karim Benzema broke silence over the press speculation about him via an Instagram post last night where he appeared to suggest that he had no interest in coming to Doha to cheer the French national team on, applying the following caption to a photo where he appeared to put a beard filter on his face, I am not interested. At home, with the fire emoji. With Real Madrid set to resume their La Liga campaign in a little under two weeks, Carlo Ancelotti has seen four more players rejoin training earlier today. Los Blancos restarted training for the second half of the season from December 1, with players not at the World Cup and some youngsters from the Castilla squad being involved. Now, slowly, Real Madrid are starting to be boosted by players returning after international commitments. David Alaba and Karim Benzema recently rejoined training and even participated in Thursday's friendly encounter versus Leganes. And, as reported by Mundo Deportivo, four more players, Tibor Coutoise, Eden Hazard, Antonio Rudiger and Federico Valverde, have returned to training today as the reigning Spanish champions continue preparations for the restart of the season. The aforementioned quartet are technically the first set of Real Madrid players to return from their World Cup assignments although Benzema, who continues to remain on the France squad list, has been training for almost a week. Courtois and Hazard crashed out of the World Cup at the group stage itself with Belgium, with the latter even announcing his international retirement after that. 
Rudiger's Germany team and Valverde's Uruguay side also could not make it past the group stages of the World Cup. And having enjoyed a two-week vacation, they have all returned to training with the rest of the squad today. More and more players are expected to arrive in the coming days with the Spanish and Brazilian contingent likely to return next week.